And now storm tracker weather with meteorologist Paul Bean. All right, we're going to start off with that storm tracker because when it comes to wind advisories and flood advisories and warnings, which we've been tracking for the last two weeks now, they are gone and we're still seeing some of those storms associated with some of the conditions we usually see with those. But the storm tracker showing widespread rain, nothing really strong in the Snake River Plain except around Idaho Falls. You can see that one big wave coming through in the last couple of hours. But moving forward, that's going to continue through tonight into tomorrow morning. And as it starts to clear out tomorrow morning, we're going to see those sunny skies replace it, stick around for about 24 hours, and then go away again as that rain comes back in for the start of the week. Storm Tracker, as I zoom out, you'll notice it weakened in the last couple of hours, but then before around 9 o'clock, you can see that next wave start to sprout up in U northern Utah, over near Nevada. We're continuing to see that moisture build, make its way over, and that's what's coming through tonight into tomorrow morning. But behind that, there's not much. It's going to start to weaken. We're going to start to see those clear skies come through, and temperatures once again are going to start to warm up associated with it. Right now, we're in those mid-60s, 63 in Pocatello, some 50s out there as well, 57 in Idaho Hall. Idaho Falls 58 in Rexburg, but moving forward, we're going to continue to see those temperatures, especially as the highs stick into those mid 70s and stay there for quite a while. Low temperatures, however, once again, a little bit on the chilly side, although they have been improving 48 in Pocatello, 48 in Blackfoot, 48 in Idaho Falls, couple 40s and even 30s out there as well, 37 in Yellowstone, 38 in Stanley. So some of the temperatures at night are a little bit on the cold side, but once again, rebounding into this week. Weekend. At the peak of the day for tomorrow, we are going to be out of that rain already. 72 in Pocatello, 74 in American Falls and Blackfoot. So continuing to see those temperatures just hang around those mid to low 70s. So not those 80s and 90s that were really hot last week, but not those 60s that were really cold in the weeks before that. So we're continuing to see the middle of the road temperatures as we move forward. Future Tracker, I mentioned that it's going to start clearing out. Jackson, Yellowstone already seeing rain at 6 in the morning, but Pocatello Blackfoot almost already clearing out, but you see that push out by noon. We'll see most of that moisture up in the Central Mountains and almost all of it pushed out of the Snake River Plain. You'll get to enjoy the back half of your Saturday, the start of your Sunday, even into the afternoon hours of your, of your Sunday, but then after that, that rain starts to make its way back in. You'll have to prepare for that for the rest of the week as well. Monday and Tuesday is when the worst days are, so that Sunday evening, that Sunday afternoon is a push into that heavier rain that we're going to see Monday, Tuesday in Pocatello. Idaho Falls very similar, and you notice a lot of those temperatures in Idaho Falls dipping back down into those 60s, so a little on the colder side, even though the trend seems to be in those mid-70s for the rest of the week besides Monday and Tuesday. Rexburg also following suit with some of the worst days being Monday and Tuesday. Still seeing that framed weekend with that rain. A lot of the temperatures dropping down to those mid 60s. And then finally for the Teton area, also seeing those temperatures uh, cool down, but the rain's almost going to be worse, Monday through Thursday being those strong days. So while we are going to see a semi-nice weekend with that on and off rain, after that we're going to see that rain make a return in full. All right, so keep the rain jackets yes. out. <laughs> All right.